So I ordered a guitar from Rare Electric Guitars. I haven't got it yet, but I put, put in a custom order. And basically I wanted a gym with a custom headstock and a different camo paint and then a large cavity and a battery attached to it because the whole idea of this custom guitar was to put a sustainer in it. Now I looked at several companies um, to buy bodies and stuff, but you know, I'm not a paint expert. I can't really paint it. The only thing I can really do is stain it and maybe burn burn it and stain it like the one gym which is green and um, with burnt marks on it. Um, I probably can do that, but um, with Rare Electric Guitars, I sent in my order, and I haven't got anything just yet. Um, I've been sending them emails back and forth. I put down the $150 down deposit. You know, I thought, why well, just just take a gamble and see how it turns out, and see if they can really build build me a custom custom instrument. Um, so we get. So I basically, I've been talking back and forth and they've been replying, I send in an answer and that's usually gets replied that, that day or next day because of their different time schedules, um, time schedules and time zones and so forth. So it gets usually taken care of in a day or two days. Um, but let me kind of show you what my idea of the guitar I was going to get. Um, So the, basically the guitar was going to have a older gym neck with a bolt on. And I wanted this type of camo paint. I seen this on an ESP guitar and uh, on Reverb.com and I thought, wow, that's pretty cool. Why don't I just add that to a gym, get black hardware, black paint and, and so forth and do the headstock and camo. And um, I wanted an ESP, look, or ESP um, headstock like the like George the George Lynch guitars have but I did I when I or when I sent in the order I didn't want any logos at all so I went ahead and t told him to take off the logo but just keep the, the that sharp headstock with the with the um the the saw blades on it or whatever I think I think that looks really cool and it, cool um the next thing I wanted it done was a 9 volt battery compartment which you can kind of see right here um and this enlarged cavity and that was the whole idea was to put a sustainer on it. if they do an excellent job on it I might do a do a second guitar and put different electronics in there I know that um, there's a few companies that do um, Floyd Roses with um, um, piezo bridges and, and acoustics and um, and so forth now I ordered a gym uh, uh, a copy of a gym and it when I got it, the um, the output jack was like they used some copy type of paste or gob or whatever, and you couldn't get the input jack out. And you need to get the input jack out if you're going to do soldering or if you're going to use the the kit that comes with the Ferrando sustainer. They, because I believe they just clip on, but I could be mistaken because I haven't really installed one. I installed a um, a um, sustainiac, which was a pain, and I didn't. It doesn't even work right. But I'm going to get the, um, I think it's the 401 so, or a friend, a sustainer, which basically has it almost all soldered together. You just put and put here, put it put together. Now, these holes right here, or these, these two little holes, which you can't see the other hole, um, I told them not to include that. I'll basically, we'll drill that when it gets finished. Um, the, I wanted a clear pick guard on the instrument. And that's the type. I make sure they understand the type of neck that I wanted. And the input jack, I know it was going to be s some problems with that. And I was afraid it was going to maybe put wood putty or something there so you can't remove the wood jack. So I told them to put in this type of input jack where you can just, you know, can unscrew it and you can take it out and take it in. Um, take it in. Um, And and I see all these these guitars that they build, and some of them looks kind of cheap, like the gym stuff or the gyms. These two gyms look pretty good. Um, let's see if the page opens up. Yeah, it's gonna open. 
I um, mean, they look pretty good. They look pretty solid. But if you look at if if I can find a white one, um, I don't think they even label them anymore because because people have these guitars made and they make them with the Ibanez logo on and they, they can't really post that stuff on there. Um, and I didn't want that. I wanted my I wanted no logo at all. I wanted to look like I like it came from a custom shop and that's basically what this company is, is a custom Chinese custom shop and that's how I'm treating it. If they do a good job I have some good job on this model. I have some I may use a different headstock logo and so forth. Um, kind of make it my own gym because um, I know that Ibanez a while back they had a custom gym gym um, a custom gym contest um, where somebody was able to design a gym and then they was able to um, make one for Steve I and one for the person that designed it. Um, so this is kind of the same thing. It's just I hope that it turns out right. It was about $650, which, you know, it's, it's kind of a gamble what it's going to turn out like. But um, $650 is not a lot of money when you can go, go out and buy the um, the Jim Woody, which is 150 or fifteen hundred dollars um fifteen hundred dollars so that's basically double that a little bit more so it's 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 kind of a gamble but at least i'll have something one of a kind that i can kind of show off and if it plays great that that'd be great and i'll order some more um but they also go under the rare like rare or rare guitar heaven and um i inquired about a few of these guitars uh, before I set set an order down, and um, and that's generally about what the price was was about. It was about five hundred. Um, I at the time they had a um a gym universe swirl for about eight hundred fifty dollars. That's that's kind of a lot of money to be paying for that type of guitar, but it, it still looked pretty cool. Um, now when I ordered from them. They basically don't don't use the um, use the um, their accounts and so forth. You basically go through PayPal. You talk to them and say, "Yeah, I'm ready to make a payment." Then they send you a link, and then you go through PayPal and, and you click on the link, and it goes to PayPal, and then you pay for it on PayPal, and then they send they set they talk to you or they they talk to me a little bit. And then I sent in a request, making sure the pickups they were going to use the right, the not the right pickups, but it was going to be a humbuck, humbucker, single humbuck, humbucker, and um, <clears throat> and they sent me some things, um, some things about that, and um, overall it was pretty good. Um, I, I sent in another email, which I'm waiting for them to get replied, but since I sent it kind of late on a Thursday it's their Friday so I have to wait until Sunday which is their Monday I believe and before I get a reply or whatever but that's my experience with rare electric guitar so far just wanted to put in a few um, experiences and I'll do I'll do more as time goes on and tell you how long it's gonna take and what's gonna happen and so forth and if there's an issue whatever but um, I think this is, if it turns out great, it would be great because it's a custom-built instrument, um, not a not a, a so-called replica. It's a, it's an instrument that I designed and wanted because you can't find a camouflage gym with that type of headstock and with the cavity routed out. Um, I've found many the, my local music store won't even route out the gym to um, put a sustainer or Stasaniac um, system in. So this will be a great, great experience. Even if, e even if, um, um, even if it doesn't work out, at least no, not uh, just put a positive, positive or a negative review on rare electric guitars or rare like rare he heaven, rare heavenly guitars or whatever. Or, but that's my general um, dealings with rare electric guitars so far.